my name is Jacob Staub. I'm the co-founder of Ripcord Engineering, which is a building services engineering company. I guess that that's typically how the Europeans would refer to um, a company that does HVAC and plumbing engineering. Um, I'm the member of board. I'm a member of the board of directors of Ripcord Engineering, so I'm responsible for setting company policy and coordination with the board. Um, I'm a company officer of Ripcord Engineering. I'm the chief innovation officer, and I'm responsible for the execution of company policy through the use of uh, technical resources. Um, and on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm an engineer of the company as well. I'm responsible for the completion of visualization, formalization scope related to building services uh, engineering. How do we get turned on to Active House or how we learn of Active House is basically um, Ripcord Engineering um, kind of has um, personal experience with Passive House. And we decided early on that our company um, would be um, interested in pursuing um, systems that were efficient. However, the clientele is not necessarily interested in that. <laughs> so, you know, one day and not too long ago, um, I was sitting around and I thought, well, I wonder what the um, other side of Passive House is. And I typed in Active House and up popped this thing, Active House. And I started reading and I thought, you know, it, it dawned on me, uh, this is exactly what people are doing, only we really didn't have a, a name to call it by. And so that's how we got started with Active House. Well, first of all, I think Active House, it's a framework and a vocabulary that guides building projects towards excellent outcomes. It's the things that you should be looking at uh, just because you're in the building industry and it kind of guides you in ways that are going to be advantageous. Um, and I would say the vocabulary is comprehensive. It's one of the more comprehensive frameworks while still being uh, approachable. As we've noted, uh, Active House places people at the center of a building design, which is where they belong. The building is meant for the people that are in it. I mean, there are other purposes of course, but that is one of the central ones. Um, and the focus of it, of course, is to use uh, inputs, whether they be energy or, or building materials or what have you, to produce healthy and comfortable people, which is um, somewhat unique, that emphasis, I would say, although most other building uh, standards, they hint at that, but Active House is more upfront about that. And Active House uh, comes with a tool set that encourages occupants and designers to advocate for themselves and for and by extension for the planet. And by that, I mean specifically the visualization um, tools that are available, whether it be the, um, the uh, building radar tool, which is very good at boiling down uh, advanced technical concepts for consideration by uh, clients who aren't necessarily well-versed in professional end of building design. And then on the design side and the engineering side, you also have uh, tools that are capable of producing visual, um, visual uh, representations of complex engineering data sets for analysis and, and um, advocacy purposes, really. It's very good to present data in a visual way because the human being is well adapted to make use of it. And so we found that it's very powerful to have that visualization aspect. And so Active House is pretty unique in that it, it gives you that capability. 